What's up, YouTube? I'm back with another bag of with y'all, man. If you're new to the channel, go that like button, subscribe, and go comment. So I have one question for the Baltimore Ravens fans. And it's one thing I have to mention because I just don't see it being this way. But I got, I still got hope for the Ravens. But with the Baltimore Ravens, make, can they make an AFC playoff run? Like, can they make a playoff run as a whole, man? Because that's one question I got to say. Like, we, like, if you look at this this picture right here, see all the... Uh, See all these uh, these margins and everything else for us to get to the playoffs. I know we're gonna get there, but I want to know if we're gonna stay in the playoffs, man. I don't want to see it get to the. I don't want to see it be a first round exit or anything, anything else like that. But you know, through this season, I noticed that we we'll, we we'll be up on these scores. We we'll have a good we we'll have a good first half, and then out of nowhere we just have, always find way that these teams come back. That cannot happen at all in the playoffs. The way how we keep playing now. We're not going to make no playoff run. It's going like a first-round knockout exit. So, hope the Ravens can find a way to clean it up, you know, get their players back. Um, I know some players are currently injured right now. So, that definitely put a hole in, that definitely put a hole in the Ravens' teams. But, I mean, to be honest with you, I, got, I think they're going to find a way to, to, to bounce back. But, I just, I'm just hoping this, I'm just hoping to try and make a deep playoff run. Play, uh, playoff run. Because this don't make no sense why the situation we in there. People be like, 12 and 4 or like a higher winning record so and unfortunately the Cincinnati Bengals has passed it for the number one AFC so uh we gotta figure out how you're gonna turn around because I ain't gonna lie Cincinnati they have been balling they've been winning games they, they turn their season around so I just hope that Baltimore do not let Cincinnati get over ahead of them even though they are now uh Pittsburgh will probably be a problem and uh Cleveland because we gave Cleveland a win automatically last Saturday was so disappointed about them now they have opportunity to get to the playoffs so we can't slip we gotta win this game we gotta win this game Saturday there's no way we lose to a bum ass team like the Falcons that's not really getting nowhere so stop letting these bad teams come back and beat y'all like that I'm just really hoping and praying it do not happen in the playoffs I do not want to see a first round exit <clears throat> and also, I want to mention, uh, Ravens had signed Sammy Watkins. You know, unfortunately, Devin DuVernay was hurt. So, we had so many injuries in this late part of the season. It's not a good look. It is not a good look at all. So, we got to figure out how we're going to turn this around. I mean, signing um, Sammy Watkins wasn't the best thing for the Ravens, but I guess they had no choice because, you know, what other player are you going to sign right now that don't want to that wanna get out there and put up some points? I don't got Sammy Watkins doing that. I just hope that he don't fail us because last year he only had like over 200 reception yards. So uh, I see why uh, the Green Bay Packers let him go. We got to stop picking up these old team pieces, man. We got to just take what we got and move forward. Um, I was going to see Pro Shady get some playing time. Like, just get, some, man, get some guys on the practice squad, man. Get those guys a chance, man, because sometimes those receivers need a chance. I'm tired of saying these old these old played out, washed out receivers that can't can get you a 400 yards. He's like, come on, like, give me a break, man. And I'm not going to get on Deshaun Jackson because he's older. But one thing I can say, though, when it's time for him to pass in the ball, he always open all the time. So I hope the Ravens can find a way to work with Sam Watkins. Hope that he's ready because uh, we're going to need you on Saturday, bro. All that playing around, you missing pass, you dropping passes. Cannot be allowed at all. I don't want to see no type of, you know, bad mistakes from, you know, from the Ravens side of the offense of the ball field. But as I was saying, um, the receivers, it's not getting too good for the receivers. There's too many injuries, man. There's too many injuries. And uh, for the tight ends, man, y'all got to step it up, man. We, look, we can't handle, we can't get, we can't make a deep playoff run. The tight ends not an actor. I know Oliver and like Lee are pretty, you know, off and on when it, when, it, when it comes to needing those guys. But I haven't seen any consist consistency for those guys. So we need to see a better uh, aggressiveness for the tight, tight, tight end side of the football field. And also, uh, it's good to have Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins back as well. They've been back. They've been, on, they've been on a good, decent run for the past few weeks. So, hopefully those guys be ready for the playoffs because we're going to need those legs and uh, get them yards in for we, Time possession, running the ball will be a key factor for the players to make a deep playoff run. And also, for the offensive line, um, there's no injuries. They got to just – they've done a good job so far. So, got to get credit when they do to come to the offensive line. And um, – in the defense, in the defense. Stop letting teams come back on the second half, man. I be saying this all the time, like this will be one of the best run defenses in the league right now, man. I'm not gonna lie. We also have injuries on that defense side of the ball field. We had Clarence Campbell went down, Marcus Peters went down. There's too many guys in out the lineup. I don't want to throw the Ravens team off. 
just because uh, it's 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 just quick it's just quick it's just quick to know that how fast an injury can occur on the football field. So I got the Ravens bouncing back, of course, but I just don't want to see this. I just want to see this. Don't want to see the same thing I'm seeing in the regular season. Cause the way I be playing right now, how we playing, what I saw on Saturday, we not making no deep playoff run. But I got like I said, I got big trust in the Ravens. Hope they can t- turn some things around. Cause they got the they got the strength in numbers. I just don't understand like. When it all comes down to it, they just can't hold hold any big leads. So, and that's no no thing. Defense, stop letting these teams come back. Let me notice in that too. Like y'all just be giving these teams. Uh, I just give them a pass to go. I'm like, wow. But um, you just gotta have to trust in your team. You know, hopefully they can do what they do. Turn some things around. Let's go and get these wins. We only got three more games. Um, we got uh, Atlanta Saturday. We got uh, Pittsburgh next week, and we also got the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's go and get this AFC uh, North uh, champions. I'm tired of keep saying it's coming up short and the game beat the win. So, uh, anyway, if you're new to the channel, go hit that like button, subscribe, go comment, and uh, feel free to hit that like button and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit all my playlists for the Baltimore Ravens, Baltimore history, and everything else. You folks have a blessed one. Stay safe. Peace.